If doing god-awful movies has taught us anything, it's that Christians can cram a lot of stupid into a small package, which is why we're pleased to bring you another bite-sized portion of Christian cinema in this installment of God-Awful Minis. So tell us, Heath, what will we be breaking down today? We watched Does Jehovah Answer Prayers? It's the story of no. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Could have been so much shorter. And Eli, how bad was this mini? Well, if you love the animation of Jimmy Neutron, but wish it reflected the morality of your craziest neighbor's Bible study, <laughs> you will love this movie. All right, so okay, so is there anything you guys want to nominate this one for being the best at being the worst at? Yeah, I'm gonna go with best best little kid refusing to hear. Mysterious ways bullshit. Right. We'll get to like the details of it, but a few times this little girl's like, that's fucking stupid. You're just doing a weird lie thing to paste over the thing. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Fuck you. So this this seems like a weird one out of context. If you've seen the video, it's a little better, but I'm going to go with best worst bully. Yeah. So like th this whole video centers around this little girl being bullied, but her bully, like I, I don't, I don't want to side with the bully, you know, but like the bully is so fucking cool. I <laughs> <laughs> and she's a JW. So Angela's yeah. pretty cool. This one time she's got lollipops. Yeah, right, right. No, she rocks that lollipop. And I'm going to go with best worst answered prayer. Yeah. The answered prayer in this little mini film is so nothing. I thought that it was a two part film and went looking on the JW website for the second half where the prayer was answered. <laughs> you remember you remember this the the Simpsons episode where Bart takes Santa's little helper to the dog trainer and he has to start like pretending that he's telling the dog to do all the shit he's doing. So he starts giving it commands like go yeah. over there and sniff that other dog's butt. You know, it's like the that of prayers. Yeah. And then it ends with like the free Willsey Act thing, basically. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, okay. We're going to start off by checking back in on our favorite animated J-Dub, Sophia. This time we're going to meet up with her hiding from bullies in a janitor's closet at school. Yeah. Come out of there. We heard your only friend is a full grown adult. <laughs> right. <laughs> to be clear, a little kid has locked herself in a closet at school to avoid horrible bullies. And Jehovah is cool with it at the moment. Yeah. That's what's happening. Also, this isn't a metaphor for her being gay or anything like that. She was, you know, like they, the the J Dubs would bully her for that. Right? Yeah, they, I was good. I literally wrote in my notes, knowing what I know about JWs, I was afraid this was going to be some kind of punishment closet I hadn't heard about <laughs> yet. But no. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, the bully kid knocking on the door, Angela. We're going to find out in a second. Has a lollipop the size of her fucking fist as she pounds on the door. Yep. So it's a weird contrast of like. Horrible bully and silly giant lollipop. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'd be afraid of this kid too. That's like a power move with that giant lollipop. Fair. That's solid. So yeah, so but Sophia in the is in the closet. She prays that Jehovah will help, but he doesn't because he's not real and she might as well have just asked Barney the dinosaur to rip her bullies limb from limb. <laughs> right? Yeah, I just wrote in my notes. No, just Pray for dice to roll a certain number. This is such a testable fucking claim. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. But then we get, so the, the bullies wander off. We get the title, Lesson 43, Does Jehovah Answer Prayers? And then below that, it says Psalm 4-3. I checked, by the way, according to Psalm 4-3, the answer is nobody does hear them. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> when somebody's like, no, I hear you. I hear you. But yes. opposite. <laughs> Okay, so then we get Sophia. She sneaks out of the closet and she shows up in class. She's late because of all the bully hiding. Yeah. She slinks her way to the desk and the teacher tells us that today they're going to learn the difference between division and long division. This is so oh. fucking stupid. The, di the difference is nothing. They're I had to Google it. I'm like, what is the fucking thing? You can, you can <laughs> long divide two into nine. It's, yep, it's just sure can. longer numbers. So they call it something. It's the same. It's division. <laughs> Yes. Maybe it's new math. Maybe there's something with squares. Oh, I don't there you know. Go. Yeah, you never know. Who knows what the kids are learning these days? Am I right? They change that shit all the time nowadays. Yeah. Boomer listeners, huh? Huh? Remember when we did math and it was just hard and it reflected personal failure rather than your own pace of learning? Am I right? Get her done. <laughs> Ahmed the dead terrorist. <laughs> Jeff Dunham reference? Jeff Dunham. <laughs> 
So then we cut to, this is so stupid. We cut to the kids getting their results from yesterday's test. Why the fuck did the class have to start with long division? Why couldn't we just start the class on the kids getting these test results and it's just one stupid fucking scene? Were they afraid that that would fuck up our suspicion and disbelief? We'd be like, well, what kind of fucking lesson plan is this? (laughs) Okay, but what did fuck up my suspension of disbelief was seeing the 94 that she got on a math test and seeing the test she got nine out of ten questions correct. That's not How a fucking ninety four. Yes. The math teacher should know that that's not a fucking ninety four. If anyone. the point system for each question would need to be insane for that to be a ninety four. <laughs> yeah, and I wrote in my notes: Oh, her parents are not going to be happy when they find out that she's doing so well in the devil's numbers. Yeah, right. So yeah, so but she gets an A. She gets a ninety four. Not like an A plus, but she gets an A. And then Angela gets her paperback. She's got a D plus on her math assignment. <laughs> Angela is the bully, of course. Apparently, it's letter grades if you do badly enough, but you get numbers <laughs> above a certain point. Clearly. So, so okay. So, now it's after class. Sophia's being stalked to school by the bullies. Or not, right? She's somebody who just says, Sophia, and then she goes running. So, it could have just been somebody who, like, wondered what the homework was or whatever. We don't know. Sure. Sophia, I have the love of God to give you. Oh, oh. <laughs> to be fair, she, she's got to rush out there because as we learned from the last mini, she has to be on her JW only bus. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but she, so she runs out of the school and then the bully comes out right after her and pushes her over <gasps> like a bully. Okay. Just giant hip check, though. Like, so many objects go flying in every direction. Like, a ski accident, it's just everywhere. Yeah, right. Socks are flying in the air. And then, as if that's not enough, Angela stomps on her butterfly pencil decoration. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) On the one hand, I understand this is children's entertainment. On the other hand, if anyone ever steps on my son's pencil, I will catfish their dad and cause their divorce. Like that is, <laughs> I was straight. You don't need to pray in my house. Well, I wanted, so I wanted Sophia to be in the basement, you know, with a sledgehammer after this. <laughs> but they, this could have been good still, but no. Oh, the doom music starts to play. Yeah. I know we got some editors in our audience. <laughs> Eli, if I play games with Max, do I have to, like, let him win forever or else you're going to, like, catfish my dad? 100% of the time until the day I'm dead, yes. Yeah. Cause my divorce. That's fair. So, yeah, but so her little friend, Sophia's little friend comes out to help her up. She's like, you know, she, she's, she's like, I get picked on too sometimes, so we're friends, right? So that evening, Sophia's having dinner with the fam. Little brother's telling his little story about a bunny or something. After a while, they notice that Sophia is rather dejected. It's so weird. <laughs> this little kid, little kid is like, oh man, I have the best day. The camera pans over and Sophia is in the fetal position, just weeping, carving the bully's name into her chest. Somehow there's a shower <laughs> on over her head and she's just yeah, rocking right, back and yeah, forth. Exactly. But little brother's like, my life as a child is the fucking best. Sophia, what about you? And, there, and then we see it's terrifying. Yeah. So at first she she doesn't tell him what's wrong, but then we cut to Bible study after dinner, right? They're going to talk about prayer for a minute here. So they start with the little brother. They're like, you know, what are some of the things that you can pray for? And I just wrote like that we, we pray that we were watching the fucking Mandalorian right now instead of this dumb shit. Pray <laughs> okay. that my parents weren't part of a fucking weird cult. Pray that I could celebrate my goddamn birthday for a change. Sure. Sure, but his answer is the best. This was almost my best best also. He's like, I pray for units of happiness, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, I pray for utils because that's the only thing that makes sense, idiots. And, and he names a few too, which is fun. Yeah, well, he's a child and he has a reasonable reaction to being told he has magic powers. He's like, ice cream and candy and money and power. And they're like, no, what's the, just say the dumb rhyme we say to you yes, at bedtime. Yes, right, right. And the yeah. kid's like, Oh, okay. That's a prayer. Sorry, I thought you you, uh, you guys described it like it was magic. <laughs> sorry. Also, we thank Jehovah for God's kingdom and all the bullshit that you told me that too. And right. Like, that's right, Caleb. All the bullshit. Yes, we that's right. We always pray earlier. for things that Very we good. already have or are unmeasurable. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just question. Why does the dad in every one of these always sound like he's about to start swashbuckling in terms of just voice. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. This is a weird pick. It's a little bit of a Puss in Boots crossover. 
get the same Croatian accent we had for the last one. Yeah, he's never left-handed. It's weird. <laughs> so dad's like, you know, we know that when we pray for the right things, Jehovah hears us. The implication being when Jehovah doesn't answer their prayers, it's because they were praying for the wrong thing. It's like, it's amazing that they can even make this cartoon without stopping and going, <laughs> oh, fuck, guys, our religion is bullshit. I just, Good. Well, <laughs> just yep. clicked. Uh, <laughs> Sophia basically does that. This is part of my best best. She's like, Jehovah's a fucking dick. What are you guys talking about? Right. Do you see me weeping over here? And she explains like, yeah, I, pray, I prayed to Jehovah to stop letting me get bullied and fucking nothing. No help. And, and then she said, it's so sad. She says, maybe Jehovah can't see me. I don't know. Yeah. Well, she, she says, she says specifically, is Jehovah mad at me? Yeah. yeah. Right. Which is another line that should tip him off that the religion isn't just bullshit, but evil. Have you guys considered you worship a blind God who doesn't care about the problem of evil and a child who's being bullied? Yeah, and dad's words of comfort for her are, no, no, he's he's just ignoring you. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Like, Joe's, Joe is not mad at you, he just doesn't care. He doesn't, he's actually perfectly, he's knowledgeable in a perfect sense of every inch of your pain, and it moves him not at all. Now get up there and brush your teeth, Cam. Yes, right, right. I love that mom didn't know what to do when Sophia first said that. Sophia's like, that's fucking stupid. Jehovah's a dick. And mom's like, what? No, and Nigo, say something. Yeah, right. And he, the dad has to be like, um, we're going to read a Bible story. Yeah, I don't know. right, right. Dad knows just the apropos Bible story for a situation like this. So we doodly do our way into the story of Hannah. Now, I love the introduction to this because Hannah was one of the two wives of Elkanah or whatever. And he, he's like, well, you know, Hannah loved Jehovah, but someone named Panino was very mad to her. I'm like, we're not going to mention that that was her husband's other wife at all. No, <laughs> never at any point. Oh, OK. <laughs> but she was. So but he does. And we learned that the husband likes Hannah more, even though she doesn't have any kids and Panina does. Yeah. Right. And we see that because all the food in this movie is fucking insane. Hannah got more shapes than Benina. <laughs> yeah, like a better plate of wood is what I was looking at. Triangles, yeah. That's what I saw. Although I will say Benina has this great moment here where she's like, oh, if God loves you so much, how come he hasn't given you any kids? And the baby she is nursing does like a ha! Ah! <laughs> it totally does, yeah. Roasted. It's like if you were special, God would give you... My mom's uterus works. What about you? Yeah, right? Oh, right. wow. Oh. Yeah, and then so... The, but the dad who's telling the story is like, but her husband couldn't understand why she was so upset because the pain was in her heart. And I'm like, I don't think that's why, right? It's because... It's because she didn't tell him what was going on or because she did and he didn't care. It's not because of where in her fucking anatomy <laughs> the pain was, certainly, right? Yeah. But she did tell Jehovah all about her pain. She goes to the giant wall with golden stripes, like you do, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she tells God, give me a child and I'll immediately give him up, which is a very weird promise for someone who wants a child to make. Right? Yeah. Well, and then what is the story that you're telling Sophia? Right? Like, okay, when you prayed to God to stop your bullies, did you try bartering away the future of your firstborn son? Because maybe that's why God's <laughs> ignoring yeah. you. Right. <laughs> Up your bid, Sophia. Fuck. <laughs> right. So the, the golden wall area, by the way, is really her just going to talk to like wise elder guy in the village about her sadness. But she has to do some like performative praying first so that this guy will talk to her because he's kind of slow on the uptake of his role as wise elder. So she starts like weeping and being like, Jehovah, please give me a child. She's doing lay Miz, waiting for this guy to say something. Finally, he comes over. He's like, are you drunk? <laughs> so what, what did that mean? He thinks weepy praying is this, that's what drunk means. Well, so, okay. So first of all, this character has a name. This character is Eli. Ooh, ooh. Oh, is it? And yes, that's how the story. So in the story, she's like mouthing her prayer and he comes up and he's like, you, what have you been drinking? You're, you're too drunk. Lay off the wine or whatever. And they decide <laughs> to keep that for the purposes of the cartoon. It, but they don't keep her like muttering or whatever. So she just walks up to the fire and she says, I'm so sad because God won't give me a child and I'm a woman. And that's really the only function that we serve. And Eli, the priest, walks up and goes, are you fucking drunk or what? You are wasted. <laughs> yeah. 
I was hoping you would finish singing and walk away. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'll bite. Yeah. What? It didn't occur to me when we did this as Bible Peace Theater, but I think if you don't know the difference between crying and drunk, someone should ask you if you're okay. Where was Eli <laughs> yeah. checking in that moment? No shit. But Eli's like, don't worry. God will answer whatever prayer you just made. Now, please leave and stop crying all over the place. And then the dad who's telling the story, he says to Sophia, he's like, and Hannah felt good, not because her prayer had been answered, but because she knew it had been heard. And I'm like, no, that's not the fucking story. You, the, the, Eli, the priest just said it would come true. And she believed he had the power to make that happen. And that's the story the Bible tells. Yeah. And Sophia has the same objection. She's like, that's dumb. You're just making up a weird lie or whoever wrote that made up a weird lie. Yeah. And dad's like, well, no, it's Jehovah heard the prayer that's but then it's like 10 days or so, business days to, and the holidays don't count. so it's it's 10 business you you have to wait for jova to hear you and then do something well but and, and then the mom she backs it away a little bit more and she's like and when god doesn't answer your prayers it's because he knows what you need more than you do right there's that that they they add in that whole but maybe you're praying for the wrong thing and god's actually bullying you on purpose cuz he knows that's going to toughen you up or some dumb shit right again it's a monstrous statement when you're talking about a cartoon where children get bullied but it's even more monstrous when you consider that this policy also applies to things like child rape victims yes yeah right Hey, Dad, what would you say Jehovah does here? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I thought the apologetics they used on grown-ups were bad. <laughs> but yeah, so so but that night we get little brother, he's walking through the hallway, humming along, and he overhears Sophia praying out loud. And she's praying to she says, Please, God, make me like Hannah. And I'm like, pregnant? It's <laughs> polygamous. What? Wait, hold on. You know, let's be more specific. Be very careful. You don't want to be uncovering feet on a grain floor. Okay. You got to be very yes. specific <laughs> about the women on the Bible. Immediately the kid's pregnant. Really? Jehovah was listening and doing this one time right away. Okay. What can I say? I love to impregnate children. Okay. Ho, so ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> That's God. God's Jehovah clause. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So the next day at school, we see Sophia. She's now telling her her new friend about Hannah and how cool a biblical character she is. But damn it, if the bully doesn't show up again. And this time we get the bully like, you know, her her entry music, like she was in a WWE or something. <laughs> she gets a Shaq theme song. It's a, she, what you talk, I'm just talking about Angela or whatever the fuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> damn right. Yeah, so she gets out her sucker. She throws the the wrapper towards the trash can. It just lands on the ground. She doesn't care. Angela's just like that. And then we get another girl that's like that sees him coming. She goes, oh, no, it's them. Run. So, like, Angela's got some serious bullying going on here. I mean, again, I'm not, I shouldn't be impressed by it, but still, I mean. If your kid's a bully, we're, we think they're cool. We just want you to know that here. <laughs> <and> puzzle <laughs> in the What's form. happening right now? We want the bully kids on our side. Well, yeah, no, we do, ultimately, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, yeah, so Angela comes up to... To Sophia to bully her some more and a big crowd gathers around to witness the bullying little brother tries to get in there to help but he can't he can't push past everybody I I love what, what was he gonna punch Angela I just yeah right. I don't know what he was planning stab her in the ankle bring a gun to school come on little brother you Jesus just, Christ. What? <laughs> it's America but just then he prays that his sister can kick a little ass and we cut to prayer universe where all the little prayer bubbles live. Yeah, this was weird. So, yeah, Caleb's like, hey, Jehovah, I got an idea. Um, it's male person here, by the way. So can you expedite the, uh, like, whiny prayer from my little sister from last night? Yeah, right, like, right. Hey, Anna, or whatever. And as this is happening, we watch Caleb getting, like, Doctor Strange powers along the way. And then there's the montage of Jehovah, again, the god of the universe, uh, not really having the spoons right now for all the praying requests that he gets. So we pan over all these different bubbles and we see that like a bunch of different people are praying for Sophia, right? Like we see her parents praying for her. We see her church members praying for her, whatever. And then we, we pan up and you can actually see like the outline of Jehovah sitting on a throne. And I swear to you, it is the outline of the Lincoln Memorial. Seriously? It absolutely is. Thank you. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's spot on the outline of the Lincoln <laughs> Memorial. So. Republican Party. That's right. Yeah, right. 
So, but Jehovah grants her powers to stand up to that bully once and for all. So we cut back to the confrontation with the bully and she goes, stop, Angela, you're being mean. And everyone freezes and gasps the fucking record needle scratches. <laughs> yeah. You're being mean and I'm going to tell. Right. And if you keep being mean, I'm going to tell. And I'm like, yeah, that ought to do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the, the bully whisper thing fucking works here, which is just nonsense. So the actual moral of the story here, according to this dumb video, is be a narc right away and then bullies definitely won't escalate. It's going to be great for you. Well, wait for God to give you the power to narc. Right, well, yeah, right. No, I wonder how many total Jehovah's Witnesses kids' teeth were lost to this <laughs> dumbass cartoon. <laughs> right. But in the cartoon, the bully's just flabbergasted. She doesn't know what to do with nuh-uh. So they all walk away. The friend turns to Sophia and she goes, you're so brave. How did you do that? And I wanted her to say, well, I just pushed air past my mouth while I making speak different the English language. <laughs> But instead, she says, I prayed for courage because that's not a measurable thing. So God can do that. <laughs> also, can I just say about God's system there? That it's just fiery little bubbles of prayer, just a barrage of them going at him. And he can never handle it. Apparently, he needs something more organized for the workflow. It's just a bad inbox. Needs a workflow, yes. Right. Get on fucking... Monday, my guy. Exactly, exactly. You're a god. <laughs> so, so meanwhile, in the Bible, Hannah gave birth to Samuel, in case we were worried about that aspect of the story. Yeah, and the moment this cartoon chooses to show us is the moment where she gives her son away, right? We don't see her, like, giving birth and holding him and being like, I love you. We see her being like, all right, guy who thought I was drunk at first glance, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> One child as promised. <laughs> and Sophia thanks Jehovah, the end. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Geritol. <laughs> done. <laughs> well, the good news is that was lesson 43, and we've only done one other one so far. So that'll do it for this week, but there's always plenty of material for the next. God awful mini. <laughs> Oh my God, it's fucking Angela from the top rope. <laughs>